serious tension as U.S. government sends urgent message. See the shocking things they revealed about Tunubu's ministerial appointees. Everybody is complaining about Tunubu's uh, ministers and um, those he appointed in the Senate as well. Everybody, everybody. No, not that um, the mixing, the mixing is not okay. The mixing is okay. In fact, this is the best um, uh, uh, nomination to say. You understand? But the people itself is what we are lamenting of. The people he elected and the people that everybody knows to be criminals, to be the 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 people who have been contributing to the destruction of the Nigerian economy. People, everybody is aware of that can even um, destroy the economy more than what it is um, today. You know, in fact, Tunubu didn't do a due diligence study of uh, of this before embarking on this very journey. That is just the truth. You understand? That is just the truth. Let's check the content. This is today's news. The appointment of Atiku Bagudru as the Minister of Budget and Economic Planning has drawn the attention of the United States government. Bagudru has been accused by the U.S. Justice embezzlement of billions of dollars during the reign of late General Sani Apacha. The U.S. is currently assessing the implication of Bagudu's ministerial appointment. According to the U.S. Justice Department, Bagudu was part of Apacha's group that engaged in embezzlement, misappropriation, and extortion of funds from the Nigerian government. In a 2013 complaint filed at the District Court for the District of Colombo. The Justice Department stated that Bagudu played a significant role in setting up and executing complex financial transactions used to launder the proceeds of the conspiracy under Apache. President Bola Ahmed Tunubu, who appointed Bagudu as a minister, defended his choice stating that the minister were carefully selected based on their track records of excellence and achievement in both the public and the private sector. Tunubu's cabinet members took their oath of office on August 21st in Apuja. Tunubu need a year word. He need a year word at all. U.S. is telling him that this is who this man is. And he knows so. He really, really knows. He's just pretending. Tunubu chose these people based on what he wants. Because he knows the people that when he tells that let's do things this way, they will agree with him. This man has been detected to be a froster, an embezzler, and a cheat. With proof. The U.S. have a proof. And now Tunubu is trying to defend him. Naim Sabio. We shall see. We shall see what the end is going to be. Is that not at uh, Apabio? They were telling Tunubu then. Apabio is this. Apabio is that. But Tunubu never listened. But now look at it. He has not even spent up to two months in office. He has pocketed one billion to himself. This is someone they appointed as the Senate president. He will finish Nigeria. He will finish the country. <laughs> All right, my people, um, let's hear from you and then um, let's know what you think, what your take is, and also what your suggestions on this very um, information may be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to, to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.